everyone. Today we are going to be doing this um, flower here. This is our, going to be our um, dark purple, um, I guess. Um, some people think this is purple, but for me this is purple. So that's the sort of colour we're going to be doing this particular flower. Um, I think we'll um, actually start with the pencil at the bottom and then move up to the flower. I'll come in a little, but as has been the case with this page, I can't come in too much, but I think we'll be okay. So I am going to start with this very dark. This is the, um, I'm just checking what we've got here. Yeah, this is the amethyst purple which is what I'm going to be using um, for the darkest areas and I'm going to use it on the outside of the pencil. This is um, our Taser Expert pencil by the way. Um, these are the pencils we've used throughout this uh, video. If you don't have the Expert you might find you've got the same or similar colours in the premium set that you can use. Otherwise just match with what you've got here. You're going to want your darkest purple pencil. It's uh, it's quite simple it's not you don't have to match exactly and you can always do it very differently but uh, is, I'm just sort of giving you an example of how you can do the page now although this is a really dark looking barrel on this pencil it's not mega dark I think that's okay I'm just going to um, fiddle with my computer one moment I'm in the middle of um, editing some videos while I'm making a video which is, yeah, interesting. Um, I think we use this. Hmm, I'm just trying to work out which is the lightest of my pencils. And I think it's this one. Is this called Ube? Purple Ube? Ube? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And we'll use it here. So still um, trying to reduce the colour a little bit. It doesn't look like it's quite the same shade of purple, but I think it'll be okay. We want a light a bit down the middle. We want to make sure it's dark enough on those edges though. You can always go back in with some of the darker one, the um, we use amethyst, if you want to. I'm just sort of going over all of it really. It helps to blend it all together as well. There we are, really simple. Now the top part. Now the two colours of purple aren't really similar, so I'm thinking that we might um, use them um, in different bits of the flower, because this looks to me a little bit like a lily or an iris, and I would perhaps do this bit black or yellow, and then this bit purple. But as we're doing one colour per flower, what I'm going to do is do this bit and this bit in this purple. And then those other two bits and the other purple will just be a little bit different. So I'm going to start at the top and I want to do quite a dark layer around the edge. Now the little dots, I'm not sure whether to colour over them, whether to try and leave them white, which I think will be really difficult. So I'm just going in with a dark amount of intense colour. And then I'm going to make it lighter towards the centre. I'm ignoring that bit at the bottom yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just doing the bit that I've decided about. I've decided to colour over those dots. You might want to put white highlights, black highlights, something like that. I realise I'm just, I just realise I'm really shading it. I think my lamp isn't in the best position. That's a bit better. It's, um, I pulled it over because um, I was doing metallics in my last video and wanted to see them shine. I think that light is probably better. So I'm just trying to get an evenish blend from edge to centre. It's not really a blend because it's just one colour. Now this bit here, maybe we use the other purple for that. Now hang on, let's use this one for here. It'll be a bit of a striped affair like that. And this one will leave and use the other colour. I think the colours aren't similar enough um, for that. I think they're far enough away from each other for that to work. Put it that way. Yeah, 
Yeah, the light's a bit odd today. It's really sunny and the sunshine is coming from my right hand side. It's not quite far away though. But anyway, soon I'm hoping to set up my recording room. I'm very excited. It's going to probably take me months and months of work to get there. But uh, it's nice to dream. And uh, it might improve the videos a bit. It might mean I can make a few longer ones. I'm not sure really. Okay, so there's the bottom part. I'm just going to make that a little more even. Looking a bit. There we go. And then we're going to grab this other purple, the Ubi. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And pop it in here and you'll see that it's quite different. And I'm trying to put it a little bit thicker at the bottom. And here I'm going to try and put it around the edge. Yeah, I've got some plans for my tripod as well to hopefully make it better. As well too. And I'll have a different desk, which may mean I can use a tablet tripod, which may mean that I can do some more shorts and videos that way round. And my son was telling me how I might be able to adapt my videos to make them the right way around for reels and shorts and things. But... Uh, no, I'll see. I might get him to help me in the Easter holidays. It's quite a while to go yet, I think. Maybe not that long. But, uh, yeah, he's... Uh... Although I don't know if my editing software can cope. Now, you might want to put some dark colour under here to give the leaf more shape, but I've just decided to go around the edge like I did with the other one. I like it like that. Now, I'm just going to sweep that because it's quite bitty. And then have a think. Right, I'm not happy with a few bits. I'm going to go over them again. So with my amethyst purple, I'm going to go over this bit. I don't feel it is dark enough around the edge and it's too pale in the middle as well. Really want to try and emphasize that dark areas. Uh, maybe I'm just being a bit fussy. I don't know. I think that contrast of two colours is rather nice but it's not really quite a dark purple flower now but maybe that doesn't matter. Now our stem. I like a I'm just going to erase actually where I went out the lines. I like a um, a bluey green with whoop, hit the tripod. That's what I'm going to try to avoid. Um, I like a bluey green with a purple. So I'm having a look now. It's been a while since I actually made a video for this page, so I'm trying. I can't remember what I've sort of done in the past. I'm going to do emerald green, I think. And, uh, should we do an emerald green stem? Yeah, I don't think we've got an emerald green stem. Might just do the whole stem in emerald, but try and fade it a little bit towards the middle by doing a few less layers. So build it up at the top and bottom, and then go a little bit lighter towards the middle. It sounds like my computer is finished. It sounds like it's coming down to land. The engines are slowing down. And same here, a bit darker up here. And then less as we go down. Like that. Now for the leaf, um, I'm going to introduce a second colour. But I think if we make it a bit darker at the bottom where Johanna's drawn the shading in for us, which helps. And then fade that up. Looks like a sweet pea pod, that leaf shape. Maybe not like that. And then I'm just going to grab the shamrock green. Oh, I don't know why. 
you can see. And uh, go over it all actually to blend it in. But I'm going to use more layers up here and less towards the middle so we can still see that contrast in colour. Now my computer's gone back to making a big noise again so I think it probably hasn't finished. But anyway. Now you can use the shamrock green across the stem as well which I think I am going to do. Not over all of it, just in those lighter areas. Try and blend it into the other colour a little bit at each end. Hoping you can see all this. There. Yeah. Uh, so that is that one. I'm trying to zoom out so you can see all of the flower. Now, what I would be tempted to do, as I say, is to put some black dots on these circles on there. And maybe a few around there as well. I'm not going to do that because we haven't used any black in the picture at all and I think it would just look a little bit odd. Um, I'm just going to tidy that up there where I went out the lines. I found myself go up the lines and initially I didn't notice it. But there we go. So that's that one. Um, Tomorrow we'll be moving on to a different shade of purple. I'm going to call this one dark purple, even though it's got a dark and a light. Tomorrow's will be mid or light purple. It will depend. I will uh, see when I choose my colours. <laughs> I'll decide what to call it. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, thank you for joining me if you've been colouring along, whether you've covered this or coloured this or something else. I hope you've had fun. And happy colouring.